We do this with no input signal, so the amp is at idle. This is called the idling current, or bias. Kenwood tells us it should be 30 milliamps. At this current, the transistors are on, but just barely. And at idle, that's exactly what we want. In a class AB output, the transistors work in a complementary fashion. One transistor handles the positive of the sign, and the other handles the negative. Transistors require a certain amount of current to turn on, so if we allow them to turn completely off, there would be a gap in response as the sign passes the zero point. And this leads to nasty crossover distortion. To calculate idling, or bias current, we measure the voltage across the emitter resistors. Each is 0.47 ohms, and Ohm's law tells us that the voltage across these resistors should be 14.1 millivolts. Also note that there are two trimmers, which allow us to adjust this voltage. Let's adjust VRE1 until we have about 14.1 millivolts. Right about there. Stay, stay, good boy. Looking for a shiny new gadget for your bench? Some good books on electronics, vintage hi-fi or old radios? Indispensable tools, cleaners or other products? Check out my new Amazon shop and help the channel. Lots of great products I actually own, use and recommend. Plus my thoughts on each one. Link in the description. To stay updated, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.